Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1709, British sailor Alexander Selkirk is rescued after being marooned on a desert island for five years. His story inspires Robinson Crusoe and sounds a lot like Tom Hanks' movie, Castaway. In 1731, Handel's opera, Poro, premieres in London. In 1788, Georgia becomes the fourth state to ratify the United States Constitution. In 1791, the Big Bottom Massacre marks the beginning of the Northwest Indian War. In 1802, the first wild leopard is exhibited in Boston in the United States. Admission is 25 cents, which is kind of a lot for the time. In 1811, Russian settlers established Fort Ross Trading Post, just north of San Francisco. In 1848, the first shipload of Chinese people arrives in San Francisco. Also in 1848, the Mexican War formally ends with the signing of the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. In 1852, the first public flushing toilet opens in London. In 1863, Samuel Clemens becomes Mark Twain for the first time. In 1876, on this day in history, baseball's National League forms with teams in Boston, Chicago, Cincinnati, Hartford, Louisville, New York, Philadelphia, and St. Louis. In 1878, Greece declares war on Turkey. In 1882, Irish author James Joyce is born. Also in 1882, the Knights of Columbus is formed in New Haven, Connecticut. In 1887, in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, the first Groundhog Day is observed. In 1892, bottle caps with cork seals are patented by William Painter in Baltimore. In 1887, the Pennsylvania State Capitol in Harrisburg is destroyed by fire. In 1901, the Female Army Nurse Corps is established as a permanent organization. Also in 1901, Queen Victoria's funeral takes place in St. George's Chapel, Windsor Castle, England. In 1905, Russian-American author Ayn Rand is born. In 1912, Frederick R. Law parachutes from the Statue of Liberty. In 1913, the New York Giants signed Jim Thorpe. Also on this day, New York City's Grand Central Terminal officially opens. Another thing on this day, American poet Joyce Kilmer writes his famous poem Trees in Mawa, New Jersey. In 1914, the Cub Scouts is founded in England. In 1922, James Joyce's Ulysses is published and sells 1,000 copies today. In 1923, the U.S. signs the Friendship Treaty with Central American countries. In 1924, the International Ski Federation, or FIS, is formed. In 1925, 20 mushers embark on a journey to transport medicine to Nome, Alaska, which inspires the Iditarod race. In 1926, three men dance the Charleston for 22 hours during a dance championship in Chicago. Good, I'm glad it wasn't just for the heck of it. In 1932, Al Capone is sent to prison in Atlanta, Georgia. Also this year, the Geneva Disarmament Conference begins with 60 countries. In 1933, just a couple of days after becoming Chancellor, Adolf Hitler dissolves Parliament. In 1935, Bruno Hoppmann goes on trial for the murder of the Lindbergh baby. Also in 1935, the lie detector is used in court for the first time. In 1940, Frank Sinatra's singing debut in Indianapolis with the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra. In 1942, Manila, Philippines is captured by Japanese forces. Also in 1942, the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation convicts 33 members of a German spy ring in the largest espionage case in United States history. In addition, in 1942, the Los Angeles Times urges security measures against Japanese Americans. In 1943, the Battle of Stalingrad ends with the final surrender of the German army, leaving 600,000 dead. In 1944, Allied troops first set foot on Japanese territory. In 1948, President Truman urges Congress to adopt a civil rights program. In 1950, the first broadcast of What's My Line on CBS TV. In 1952, B.B. King's Three O'Clock Blues hits number one on the U.S. Billboard's R&B Hit Parade to become his first national hit. In 1954, snow falls on Gibraltar in the Mediterranean. In 1955, Dwight Eisenhower gives the first presidential news conference on network TV. It was on ABC. In 1959, 
Tonight is Buddy Holly's final performance. Also in 1959, Vince Lombardi signs a five-year contract to coach the Green Bay Packers. In 1964, G.I. Joe debuts as a popular American boy's toy. In 1967, Ronald Reagan is sworn in as governor of California. Also today, a second professional basketball league, the American Basketball Association, is formed by representatives of the NBA. In 1971, Idi Amin declares himself president of Uganda and for the next eight years heads a regime that was noted for its brutality. In 1973, the midnight special rock music show debuts on NBC TV. In 1974, President Richard Nixon lowers the national speed limit to 55 miles per hour. Also, Barbara Streisand has her first number one hit with The Way We Were. In 1975, the U.S. Female Figure Skating Championship is won by Dorothy Hamill. In 1976, The Rich Little Show debuts on NBC TV. In 1977, Colombian singer-songwriter Shakira is born. Also in 1977, Radio Shack officially releases the TRS-80 computer. In 1979, Sid Vicious of the Sex Pistols dies. In 1980, the U.S. learns of an FBI sting operation called Abscam that targeted members of Congress who were taking bribes for political favors. In 1981, one of the largest investigations in Britain ends when serial killer Peter Sutcliffe, also known as the Yorkshire Ripper, is arrested in Sheffield, South Yorkshire. Yes, there are serial killers outside of the United States. In 1990, South African President de Klerk announces the unbanning of the African National Congress and his intent to release Nelson Mandela, effectively the beginning of the end of apartheid. In 1991, Sting scores his second UK number one album with The Soul Cages. In 1992, the IRS and Willie Nelson settle on a $9 million tax bill out of the $16.7 million he owed. In 1993, Frito-Lay pays a court-ordered $2.5 million to Tom Waits for using his song Step Right Up. In 1996, American entertainer Gene Kelly passes away. In 1999, a Portland, Oregon jury orders that a person who created an internet site listing the names and addresses of abortionists pay $107 million in damages. In 2001, former President Clinton and Senator Hillary Rodham Clinton say they will pay $86,000 for items from the White House they had chosen to keep. In 2009, RuPaul's Drag Race, hosted by RuPaul, premieres on Logo TV. In 2014, the Seattle Seahawks defeat the Denver Broncos 42-8 to win Super Bowl 47. Also in 2014, American actor Philip Seymour Hoffman died of a heroin overdose in New York City. In 2018, all 955 miners are rescued from the Beatrix Gold Mine in Wilcombe Town, South Africa after two days underground. In 2019, American singer R. Kelly is arrested after turning himself in on 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse, including with three minors. In 2020, in Super Bowl 54, the Kansas City Chiefs beat the San Francisco 49ers 31-20. Also in 2020, it was Palindrome Day. The date 02-02-2020 reads the same forward and backward. The last time this happened was November 11th, 1111. In 2021, Jeff Bezos announces he is stepping down as CEO of Amazon after 30 years, becoming executive chairman. Also in 2021, Pete Buttigieg is the first openly gay person to be confirmed to a cabinet post as transportation secretary. Well, that was February 2nd. Have you watched any of my other Today Back Then episodes? You should. They're right in front of you.